come up. I'm a little bit overwhelmed just thinking about what it is that God's done for us. If you stop and just consider, in spite of everything that has occurred, look at what God has done in spite of everything. So we're here today to commemorate what God has done for us here at this church, Bible Believers Baptist Church, by simply saying that God has done this in our lives individually and allowed us to be a part of something here in what I believe is the community, if not even a further least than that. I'm going to have Brother Roger sing just a couple of verses of God's amazing grace, and then we will place the Bibles in the hole. And then each of you, as we're finished up, you come up and grab the shovel. And after we're done, we're going to have a word of prayer. Father, we sure thank you for your many blessings. Thank you, God, for allowing us this privilege. We are overwhelmed and somewhat even emotionally shook to consider that you would do such great things with us. We'd ask now, Father, your blessings upon the dirt upon which we stand and upon the service that we have. Thank you, Lord, for each individual that's gathered here and for the interest they have in you. And I pray, Lord, you'll let them see this dream of yours and theirs come true. We'd ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a poor sinner like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blinded, but now I can see. And it's all because of God's amazing grace. Because on Calvary's mountain, he took my place. Someday, some glorious morning, I'm going to see him face to face. And it's all because of God's amazing grace. Through disappointments, through danger too, through trials and sorrows that have come, God's grace has guided me safely through and it will surely lead us home when with a ransom around God's throne we'll praise our Redeemer and King we'll tell how blood for our sin did atone through countless ages this song we will sing and it's all because of God's amazing grace because on Calvary's mountain he took my place Someday, some glorious morning, I'm going to see him face to face. And it's all because of God's amazing grace. Someday, some glorious morning, I'm going to see him face to face Amen. and it's all because of God's amazing grace Amen. 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 So we're here today to lay the foundation. We're not burying the Bible 
so that nobody can find it. We're burying it so that it can bear fruit. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, the seed which is sown is not the same when it comes out of the ground. So a little tiny seed can wind up producing buckets and buckets of fruit. So we plant the Bibles just as a picture. We're standing upon the foundation and as our prayer that God will prosper this church and the preaching of His Word in this church. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. By no means because of it. Let's make it for me. sacrifice to allow us to see this happen. Because without their sacrifice, this wouldn't be possible. Brother Sam? Thank you, Lord. Yeah, man.